Yo, what's up? So quickly before we start the video, I just want to apologize to you guys for not uploading in like two months. I was pretty burnt out out of making videos and I had a lot of stuff going on IRL. But I'm not going to waste you guys' time. In today's video, we're going to be using my updated free tweaking utility to boost your FPS, lower your latency and overall make your PC feel smoother. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. Make sure to check out exmtweaks.com where you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities. We have over 2000 reviews on our Discord server and website combined. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. And uh, you can find it in my Discord server. And the way you join my Discord server is simply just go into the description of any of my videos. Here you can find my Discord. And in my Discord server, find the free utility channel. I know it's kind of confusing because I have two of them, but this one is just for the sake of the video. And if there's a newer version out, of course, use that. But if you want me to update the utility, get me to 21,000 subs and get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll drop version 5.1. Anyways, let's download it. Press on the download link. So uh, visit site. This will take you to a Google Drive. And here you have two things. So you have the EXM Free Tweaking Utility V5, which is what we're going to be downloading. So simply right click on it and press download. And also here we have the resources and source code of the utility. So in case you don't trust us, you can just simply uh, download this and go over what the tool downloads as well as the source code. And as you can see here, I have the tool. So simply open this, just close every window and just drag this onto your desktop. So boom, simply right click on it and here run it as admin and put it into full screen. And here just press any key to continue. And now, we have restore point. And if you're wondering what a restore point is, it basically allows you to revert all of the tweaks and go back to normal. So simply press one followed by enter on your keyboard. And now you will make one. And I'll skip to when this is finished. All right, it should say this little pop-up once it's finished. And after that, it will download the resources. And now we have the menu. And I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible while also giving you as much information as you should need. But the first thing that we're going to be doing is general tweaks. So simply press one and enter and again, do it. And this will just optimize a bunch of registry settings and it will help your performance and decrease your latency. So after that, we have mouse and keyboard where you have two buttons. So we have optimize mouse and keyboard registry settings. And this will take a little while to do all of them, but this should just decrease your overall keyboard input delay and mouse input delay. And next we have keyboard and mouse that are Q size. So this is a little bit of a tricky one, or I mean, it's really simple, but you actually have to do something here. So simply press T to open task manager, go to performance, and here you have your CPU. So as you can see, I have a 13th gen Intel Core i7, which is a high end CPU. And if you want to find out whichever one of these options you should use, simply comment your CPU down below and I'll tell you whichever one you should use. Um, my CPU is a high-end one, as I said before, so I'm just going to press one. And yeah, that's everything for mouse and keyboard. Now it's time for Windows tweaks. So press three and uh, we have a few options here. You can either press apply all, which, which will do all of the settings or you can go through them one by one. And if you don't want to disable stuff like Bluetooth, then I recommend going through them one by one. But of course, if you accidentally do it, you can just go to the revert category here. You can uh, re-enable a bunch of stuff that you disabled. But I'm going to go back to the Windows tweaks and I'm just going to do apply all. Here, just press Y to continue. And it may say some errors here. And that's just because you already either have the service disabled or it doesn't exist. So after that, it will open these two apps and one is Windows Update Blocker. And this app basically allows you to pause or disable Windows updates. Why would you want to do that? It's because like when a Windows update starts in the background, it will completely kill your performance. It's overall just a pretty useless service. I only recommend updating Windows like once every six or seven months and then retweaking because it resets a bunch of tweaks. It's just not worth it to do it every time. And that's why I recommend disabling them. Press apply now. And in here, uh, simply copy my settings uh, and just keep show thumbnails instead of icons checked. And uh, this is an optional thing, but I really like how it looks and it doesn't really do anything to your performance. So I recommend checking it. And then smooth edges on screen fonts, this is a must. And then apply and press okay. And yeah, that's everything for Windows tweaks. I'm sorry if that last part was a bit scuffed. After that, we have PC clean, and this is a pretty simple one. The first thing that we have is cleaning temporary device data, and this will just delete a bunch of device data which is not being used. Uh, and after that, we have Windows Clean Manager, and in here, select wherever you have your windows, and it will scan all the files, and I recommend checking every single window here. Boom. 
And as you can see, I have 825 megabytes of temporary data and uh, just press delete and it will clear all of the files. I'll skip to when this is finished. So after that, we have memory tweaks and in here, enable and disable memory compression. So here we have two options, disabling it or enabling it. And if you have 16 gigabytes or more of RAM, then I recommend disabling it. And if you have less than 16 gigabytes of RAM, then I recommend enabling it. But I personally have more than 16 gigs of RAM, so I'm just gonna use that. And boom, that's finished. After that, we have general memory related tweaks and this will just uh, disable things like page combining and uh, do a bunch of more optimizations. Boom, that's memory tweaks. After that, we have a kind of a tricky one, but it, I mean, I'm gonna explain how to do it. It's disabling all startup services using the Autoruns app. I'll just go into the logon section right here. So it should be not right next to everything, boom. And in here, I recommend unchecking everything except your antivirus, which I use asset, but uh, it should for you should be like Windows Defender or something and keep that checked then keep CMD checked and also these NA files. But yeah, after that, you can just simply close it and all of it will save. Next, we have GPU tweaks. And in here, uh, we have three different options. So we have Nvidia, AMD and Intel. And I personally have an Nvidia GPU and all you have to do is just press one and enter. And first it will apply the Nvidia profile inspector profile. That's all for GPU tweaks. Next, we have CPU tweaks. And if you have some overheating issues on your PC, then I don't recommend doing these because these will slightly increase your temperatures. Here, simply press eight and enter and select whichever type of CPU you have. I have an Intel CPU, so I'm gonna do two. And that's everything, boom. Next, we have uh, USB tweaks, which this is another one click one. It will just disable a bunch of power saving features. It will set thre thread priority and more. And now we have power tweaks, which firstly, uh, don't do this again if you have overheating issues on your PC and the first thing that we have is going to be my power plan Which I reworked completely for this update and as you can see here uh, You have the exm free power plan v4 But I'm personally gonna use my premium one since it's still a lot better than the free one Next we have disabling power throttling and timer coalescing and other power saving features Next we have disabling power telemetry, which is basically your PC tracking like how much power it uses and if you want to delete the default power plans, pressing four and it will delete them. But it says it doesn't exist because I already did it. But yeah, that's everything for power tweaks. All right, so next we have debloat and in here simply press okay on the pop-up. And again, this is another page where we have the apply all button. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different settings here. Things like uninstalling Cortana, disabling Xbox services. So I recommend going through these one by one. If you don't want to disable stuff like Xbox, then don't do it of course but if you accidentally end up doing it you can always just go to the revert category and enable it i'm just gonna do the apply all because i don't use any of these and this will take a little bit so i'm just gonna press y next uh we have storage tweaks we press 12 and here we have two options so we have tr trim slash defragment your drives and press one and first we have trimming your ssd don't worry uh this won't defragment it which uh, defragmenting your ssd is bad but this just trims it which is different don't worry and if you want to trim your, I mean, if you want to defragment your hard drives, it will take a while. It will maybe take even upwards of an hour, depending on how long you haven't done it. But I personally won't do that right now. So yeah. Next, we have enable user write cache, which that's all you have to do. And yeah, that's storage streaks. And lastly, we have fix corrupted files, which uh, just press 13. And the first thing that we have is SFC scan now. Uh, all right, so we just finished and next we have restore health, which is a similar type of command It will take some time about three millennia, but yeah All right, so as you can see it found some corrupt files and it uh, fixed them. So yeah boom. Yeah, that's everything for the utility Make sure to restart your PC after using it so the tweaks properly apply. And if you want to completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance, just press W and this will open my website, exmtweaks.com. Or you can check it out like this, but if you go to buy now, as you can see, my premium utility has over 1,100 tweaks, which is almost five times as many as the free one does. And trust me, so many people love this thing. Like if you just go to my Discord server and scroll to customer reviews, there's over 1,260 reviews. So I'm, I'm gonna stop yapping now, but uh, there's people you see getting like 1,700, which is absolutely insane. But I'm gonna stop yapping now. I uh, love you guys. And I'm sorry for not uploading in a while, but I'm gonna get back to the grind now. And love you, bye, see you.